this is not an easy question but together we can do it together right together we can find the solution welcome back to my channel um we are asked to find the area of this semicircle if area of this triangle is eight and the area of this triangle is 32 and the two triangles share the same height okay all right now this is not drawn to scale please yes it's not drawn to scale first let's name them let's call this a call this b call this c and call this d now the height let's call the height h let's call this place a and this place b or since i have a and this let me just use x and y so let's call this x and let's call this place y this is 32 now first of all area of a triangle remember that this is the height so definitely it's perpendicular to the base so area of a triangle is equal to half base multiplied by height okay so in triangle a b d we can say that the area which is eight is equal to half multiplied by the base which is x multiplied by the height which is h so if we cross multiply we have that eight times two is equal to x times h so we can say that 16 is equal to x h all right so if we make h the subject of the formula which happens to be the height it will be equal to 16 divided by x now let's call this equation one remember we are asked to find the area of the semicircle and that is what i'm trying to do so all these things i'm doing now will help me to get the value of the radius of the circle which i will use to find the area okay all right so this is equation one now similarly in triangle dbc in triangle dbc the area which is 32 will be equal to half multiplied by the base which is y multiplied by the height which is h as well okay so 32 times 2 will be equal to hy so we have 64 is equal to hy so if we make h the subject of the formula as well we are going to have that h is equal to 64 over y okay now you can see let's call this equation two now if you compare equation one to equation two you will see that both of them are equal to h so it's right for us to say that 64 divided by y is equal to 16 divided by x okay so we can say that 16 over x is equal to 64 over y so if we cross multiply we have 64x is equal to 16y now let's divide this both sides by 16 when 16 divides this we have 4 so we have 4x is equal to when 16 divides itself we have 1 1 times y is y now this is another important equation that 4x is equal to y so now we have y in terms of x okay now i'm going to list the important equations we have formed already so i will list them here the first one is that h is equal to h is equal to 16 over x this is equation one the second equation h is equal to 64 over y the third equation 4x is equal to y so we are going to get back to them for now i don't need them okay so we are going back to the diagram all right in this particular diagram now 
I want us to note that triangle ADC is a right angle. Why do I say so? Remember that in a semicircle, okay, this is the diameter AB. Any angle that AB sustains on the circumference is 90 degrees. Yes. And you can see that AC is the diameter of this semicircle. So it means that angle D is 90 degrees. So what am I going to use that for? You are going to see that in a jiffy. If this is the first time you are coming across this wonderful channel, you are highly welcome. But don't forget, just click that subscription button, subscription button, turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. Yes, we upload our videos as often as possible. Tune in at your convenience. There must be something new for you to watch. Give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. Thank you very much. So at this point now, this is what we have. So what, why am I saying that? Now let's call this part in triangle. Let's just draw it out because I don't want to overcrowd this. So this is A, this is D, and this is C, okay? And we have this, this is B. This is 90 degrees. So if we call triangle A alpha, we need to get this triangle here as well. Now remember that the sum of angle in a triangle is 180 degrees. So it means that alpha plus 90, okay, plus this angle here is equal to 180 degrees. Let's call the angle X. So we can transfer 90 to this side, all right? So we have, or we need X, okay? So let's transfer every other thing to the other side. So X will be 180. Alpha we cross to become minus alpha. Plus 90 we cross to become minus 90. So you can see that our X will be equal to 180 minus 90, which is 90, right? So it's going to be 90 minus alpha. So it means that the angle we have here is 90 minus alpha. So this is 90 minus alpha. All right. Similarly, this is angle 90, right? The sum of angle on a straight line is 90 degrees. This is 90. Now, this particular angle here, remember that angle D as a whole is 90 degrees. So it means that 90 minus alpha plus this angle here, let's call it theta, plus theta, must give us 90 degrees as well, okay? Since we are looking for the value of theta, it should be equal to 90. Let's transfer every other thing to the other side of the equation. So plus 90 we cross to become minus 90. Minus um, alpha we cross to become plus alpha. So you can see that theta will be equal to 90 minus 90 is 0. So it means that theta is also equal to alpha. So I'm going to replace this with alpha. And once this is alpha, it means that the remaining part, which is this side, will be what? 90 minus alpha. Now you can see that they share the same height, which is h, right? So this is very clear that triangle ADB is similar to triangle DBC. They are similar triangles. And the one thing about similar triangle is that the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. The ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So let's talk about the ratio right now. So if I decide to, remember that this is X, okay? So if I say hash over X, it should be equal to, this is y, right? It should be equal to y over h, right? The ratio of the corresponding sides. Now, how do I get that? Some of you also get this wrong. Now, let me explain. We took h over x. When you talk of h for triangle ADP, you can see that h is on line with angle 90 minus alpha and 90 degrees, okay? That is what we have there. And if you come to the corresponding side, it should be the side 
also having angle 90 minus alpha and 90 degrees so that is why we talk of y in terms of h so h and y are corresponding okay so x and h now x is the line this line is for alpha and 90 degrees okay and the line that is for alpha and 90 degrees is h for this bigger triangle that is why you have h here i hope that is clear all right so with that i don't think we need this anymore yes we don't so let's work with this ratio that h over x is equal to y over h okay now but y is 4x y is 4x so we can write h over x is equal to 4x over h so if we cross multiply we are going to have x multiplied by 4x is equal to h times h which is h squared so x multiplied by 4x is 4x squared is equal to h squared now let's take square root of both sides so we we'll have square root of 4x squared is equal to square root of h squared okay so this is same thing as square root of 4 multiplied by square root of x squared which will give us 2x is equal to h so we can call this equation 4 so we have 2x is equal to h but according to equation 1 h is equal to 16 over x okay so this implies that 16 over x is also equal to 2x okay yes since both of them are equal to h then it simply means that this should be equal to this now if we cross multiply we have 2x squared is equal to 16 so if we take if we divide both sides of this equation we will have that x is equal to 8 x squared is equal to 8 now let's write that because it's very important to us and this is equation 5 okay we don't really need equation 4 anymore now where am i coming from remember that the area of a semicircle is half pi r squared okay half pi r squared and the radius of this particular semicircle this is the diameter ac is the diameter okay so the radius of this circle in question should be x plus y divided by 2 x plus y representing ac which is the diameter divided by 2 that should give us the radius okay all right so we have r is equal to x plus y divided by 2 now remember that our y is 4x oh and i've deleted <laughs> i even cleaned it okay thank god there's something showing that to us see so i cleaned it okay it's even here y is 4x so our r will be x plus 4x divided by 2 so our r will be 5x divided by 2 okay so we are going to substitute that into this area now so it means that to find the area is going to be equal to half multiplied by pi multiplied by 5x divided by 2 all squared okay so the area will be half multiplied by pi multiplied by 5x squared divided by 2 squared so the area will be half multiplied by pi multiplied by 25x squared divided by 4 so we have area is equal to half multiplied by pi multiplied by 25 now we've gotten x squared somewhere look at it here x squared is 8 okay x squared is 8 so we multiply this by 8 and divide by 4 so 
what we have here is two we divide this to give us four four we divide itself to give us one so the area is 25 by unit squared and that is the answer thank you so much for watching see you in my next video bye